The world has evolved, and we are now in an age of robots. Everything is now being done by machines that listen to voice prompts and a tap on some device. I'm pretty sure you're asking if it's possible that robots could actually take over the military and save us the stress of loss and all the other damages that occur during conflict. Let's find out what some of these robots use during wars are and which ones can actually help change the future. IDF Caterpillar D9. Nicknamed Doty, this war machine has been known to have a 405, 410 horsepower in one work. Originally designed by Israeli forces to combat the loss of tanks during wars, this bulldozer is operated by a crew of just two members, the commander and the operator. The crew are protected inside a strong cockpit that's also armored as they battle on. This war machine is also modified to be able to take on additional firepower like grenade launchers, machine guns, manually operated, and smoke grenades. The crew are safely protected against snipers, machine guns, or bombs with their bulletproof glass covering their cockpit. I assure you, no weapon fashioned against them shall prosper. Interestingly, this machine can also be used to clear booby traps or demolish buildings, even when taking heavy fire. That's more like it. The IDF Caterpillar D9 also comes with an armor that prevents it from getting blown apart by landmines. So, this is a very strong robot on the battlefield. I'm sure it's for some other crazy features that'll make you wonder if there was any need for human soldiers during conflicts anymore. Two crews and a robot that can take out anything in its path. I'm sure you already know the answer. Guardium. I like the sound of this one. Guardium. It sounds like an epic knight in the midst of a fierce battle against multiple enemies. And guess what? That's exactly what it is. The Guardium was manufactured to protect against invaders along the Gaza borders of Israel by a joint coalition of Elbet and Israel Aerospace Industries. Despite the fact that this contract was terminated in 2016, Guardium Guardium continued to help maintain human resources and protect against enemy fire in Gaza. This unmanned vehicle is fitted with accessories that allows it to be remote controlled from a particular range. It has a primary purpose of surveillance but can also be used as a defense weapon. To guard itself, the vehicle has lethal and non-lethal weapons for smooth operations. It can also detect enemies through an infrared and avoid obstacles with its powerful sensors. You think that's all? This beauty has an autonomous mode as well. I mean, work all by itself for more than 100 hours? That's the deal right there. I'm pretty sure this machine needs nearly nobody to operate it unless absolutely necessary. Trust me, a lot of people are going to be out of military jobs with this one in the nearest future. Themis, tracked hybrid modular infantry system. Themis wasn't built for fashion or show off, not the way I see it. This war machine was made in Estonia by Milrem Robotics with the aim of providing land-based assault on enemy soldiers without the need for human assistance. It can also serve as a transport platform for troops, a disposal unit, and an IED detection system, and much more. Designed to provide additional support to troops and help to minimize the cost of human resources, this unmanned gun vehicle also has several sensors that allow it to do all the jobs of a recon troop and much more. It can also fire automatic weapons that include a machine gun and missile rounds. This is like having a soldier behind you at all times, even when you're nearly defeated on the battlefield. The remote-controlled access to this machine makes it even better in terms of gathering data, collecting available data for war damage, and surveillance purposes. In the years to come, this beauty would do more than any troop would do on a battlefield, if it ever comes to that, and I'd bet that it would do extremely well. Mesa Associates Tactical Integrated Light Force Deployment Assembly Matilda Matilda? Isn't that like the name of a person? Well, in this context, Matilda is a robot designed by Mesa Robotics Corporation, for the purpose of surveillance and reconnaissance through a remote controlled access. It is also made for other multiple uses like bomb control, launching of aerial unmanned gun vehicles remotely, door breach, weapons control, and detection of mines from remote places. In order to minimize the loss of lives and defeat the risk of soldiers in death situations, Matilda is built primarily to disarm any form of bomb. It uses a variety of sensors to manipulate through obstacles that may defeat its purpose, making it a perfect substitute for precious human soldiers.
Matters. In the coming years, many bomb situations could be avoided through the use of Matilda to help make the society safer and better than it actually was in the beginning. What this means is that the robot would do all the works of a soldier and even more without risking any form of human loss. This is a machine that I'm very sure will redefine how wars are fought in the future. Who knows? It might just bring about the end of insurgents who have always terrorized many places. Again, it's the ultimate bet against loss of limbs and lives as well. Goalkeeper CIWS. When you hear goalkeeper, the one thing that comes to your mind is most definitely soccer. Well, say hello to the goalkeeper of the army. It's a closed-in weapon system that is totally automatic and used to counter short-range assaults on ships. This beauty, when activated, allows for the destruction of missiles, aircrafts, and surface vessels with fast maneuvers. Built by the Dutch in 1979, this weapon system has two radar systems. The first one is used to track threats, while the second one targets and engages the said threat. When engaged, the radar can also prioritize which threat to tackle before others, making it the best kind of defense system any war vessel could ever want. You want to know something very interesting? The goalkeeper is also fitted with a system that allows it to identify friends or foes and can also handle up to 18 threats at once. In order to keep the system's operator in the know, the machine also has a camera system that gives feedback pictures of what's going on out there. This means that there is less risk of getting things wrongly done. I'm sure that there are steps being taken to improve the performance of this robot by those who designed it, but it's pretty obvious that this will help to reduce the risk of getting hit by missiles and unseen warheads, especially during war times. More lives are preserved and more families get to see their loved ones after the war is over. Acer, the armored combat engineer robot Acer, is one of the robots designed by Mesa Robotics for the sole function of clearing everything in its path so that the troops may have better access to their enemies. It's a robot that's built like a bulldozer and this allows it to clear out mines, buildings, remove obstacles, take out mines, haul cargo, remove land and laser mines, and also help to clear out damaged vehicles. It may not be so much of a war machine, but its efforts are sure to go very far in helping the advancing troops get to wherever they may be headed. Autonomous Rotocraft Sniper System. Just like its name implies, this robot is made to help neutralize threats by being attached to an unmanned helicopter. In areas where sniper support is needed, there is no need for any human assistance with this machine. Although it was in its test stages in the early 2000s, we are very sure that this sniper is the next best thing when it comes to land assault. It also helps to reduce human casualties and protect the troops from a vantage point. Dragon Runner. The Dragon Runner is a robot built to take on urban combat. In its initial version, the robot has four wheels that are large enough to travel over any terrain and help to carry out surveillance actions in areas where soldiers cannot access. There have been various designs by the producers of this robot, but each have served the same purpose over and over again. Controlled remotely, this robot drives around obstacles and feeds the operator with images captured by its cameras. It can be operated in drive mode, sentry mode, and watch mode. In these models, the robot ensured there was enough data sent back to the operator's screen to allow for a smooth and easy mission. In conclusion, there is absolutely no doubt that soldiers are on the brink of being replaced by robots. In the years that have passed and more that are to come, it is becoming more evident that there is a need to protect precious human lives during conflicts. To do this, there has to be a heavy investment into these machines that are designed for such purpose. Of course, this means that the art of warfare will change as the robots continue to take over. This doesn't quite rule out the possibility of human soldiers, but what it does is to create a better way of defense, offense, and protection. It is also certain that there will be less losses and more protection for those fighting in the wars as well. If you have learned a thing or two from this video, or you have opinions to give, remember to drop a comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel where we serve you with the best of any tech guide you might be looking for. Just click the like icon showing on your screen, hit the subscribe button, and you're good to go. You can also turn on notifications by tapping on the bell icon right on your screen.